Manufacturing is a global industry. I think it's important to promote and lift up companies that create jobs right here in America. Recently, I went to another country and I toured a company that's doing just that and helping me compete. Switzerland, this is crazy. You guys know I'm scared of heights, right? So a while back, I was at IMTS Chicago. I met Mark Blazer, third generation owner of Blazer Coolant. Come around, he said, come to Switzerland, I'll take you hot air ballooning. Boom, that's what we're doing right now. This is so surreal, like so beautiful. Nineteen thirty six was a very difficult time here in Switzerland. It was economically a crisis time, and my grandfather did an apprenticeship as a painter. He couldn't find a job, so he started experimenting, and he developed a shoe polish which was uh, water resistant. And uh, as we are in an agricultural area, he started to sell it among the farmers around here. Whenever he was coming to present a new product, people were then saying, well, what does it do? And he said, well, it keeps your shoes nice and soft and water resistant. And people were then very skeptical. You know, but are you sure it does that? So my grandfather then said, why don't you give me your shoes? I polish them and I come back in a few weeks. You can then tell me if you like it or not. If you like it and you would like to buy it, you can buy it from me. And if not, at least I polished your shoes. Sales were always direct to the customer. Being able to prove the advantages of the product was a key element of his selling process. And so even today with metalworking fluids, we still hold very strong to this genetic building block from 1936. And only the customer is the judge to say whether we are true to our commitments or not. Hey, Mark. hello, Titan. How are you? I'm wonderful, thanks. Whoa. What about you? Welcome to Switzerland. Switzerland. Last time I saw you was in Chicago. Absolutely. Did you have a safe trip over? Oh, we had a great trip over. Yes. My wife's doing a little sightseeing right now, and uh, I'm excited to be at Blazer Swiss Loop. Well, it's great to have you here because we're not just uh, producing coolants. Our claim and our promise to the market is to deliver them liquid tools, liquid tools which help to increase productivity and reduce substantially and in a measurable way the costs. But rather than me explaining now to you, why don't we go and have a look? Oh, I'd love to. Ooh, Let's buzzer. go. This transition from father to son was really excellent. My father let me develop the, the business freely. We had an excellent relationship together. And I'm absolutely happy and lucky to have Mark as a son and was very pleased to hand it over to him. Well, Titan, that's where we fill our drums. And from here, we ship our products out into over 60 countries worldwide. 60 countries, this yes. is crazy. Honestly speaking, what you see in here, that's only good enough for about a bit more than one day. Really? And to make it even more extreme, these are just specialized formulations. So these are not even the ones we use in big quantities. 
That's crazy. All the big quantities, they are being filled in the drums and immediately shipped close to the customer. It is very important to us to be close to the customers and what we sell in the US is also manufactured in the US. You need a good understanding of the market itself and therefore we need local people who have an understanding of the culture, of the customers and typically these are Americans. Gina, would you bungee jump off one like oh, this? Of course not. I don't even ask me that. Why they bungee jump? <laughs> well, there are a lot of crazy people in this world. Mm. I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah, like right now, I would not jump out of this thing no matter what. I'll be like a cat, like just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like with being scared of heights, like I feel like I got something like pulling me off, you know what I mean? Like just pulling me over the edge. It's like I gotta like stand in the center. <laughs> Lord! Here we have our tech center, and as I told you, you know, it's not just good enough to just produce good products, but we need to know what they deliver to the customer once they are on the machine. Ooh. Therefore, we have our tech center with our own machines in order to properly document what the tool wear, the tool okay. or the wear pattern is as well, and to learn from, uh, from that what the performance is of uh, the solution. We have uh, Salim here. Can I introduce you to Salim? How are you? How are you? How are you? Very fine. nice to meet you. So this is what you do. You just machine parts. Exactly. We are testing our products to the fullest, to the max, to make sure machinists all over the world can go faster, stronger, and have better products for their customers. We don't just want to deliver a coolant, any coolant to our customers. We want to give them a solution for their problem. It has to perform like our customers want it to perform. And that's why we do so many tests already in the lab. Here is our expanded R&D facility. So we can go up here to the microbiology. So there are labs uh, downstairs, but also labs upstairs. If I can explain it to you in a very simple way, but think about it like a dinner table. You have food on the table and you have a limited number of chairs. Now, the important thing is that the right type of bacteria occupies these chairs and hence doesn't leave any space for other harmful bacteria coming in, so the only thing they can do is die off. In order to substantiate this claim, it was important for us to really show it to ourselves, to our customers and partners. Here, we have a great example. Make a test with a tapping. Okay. Here is the, only the difference here is the coolant. We have here the same material, the same tool. Everything is Everything's the same. Everything's the same, and it's the difference the of difference coolant. The difference is the coolant, yes. That's a that's big a great, difference. That's a great example. The rate that the tool cuts through metal is faster than ever before. One of the most important tools you have is coolant. You can have the best machinist, the best machine, the best tool, but if you don't have the right coolant, you'll be holding yourself back from truly being successful. Ferrari we will have next week. <laughs> we have gone away from simply looking at customer samples and just looking what is wrong or what is right to go into research and see how does that work? What are the interactions between the bacteria and the coolant? So we need to be detectives because we want to understand what is the true cause. It's like CSI, Blazer, Switzerland edition, cameras are on. Correct. Boom. <laughs> Correct. Boom. <laughs> so good, so good. And when we met, I immediately said, Titan, with all that you do, we have to meet in Switzerland. We have to show you what we do. Because I truly believe together we can even deliver more value to the American industry or actually to everybody who is looking, watching, and absorbing everything that comes from Titan.
So you're getting ready to cut some titanium. Exactly. Ooh, I love it. What are you gonna do, like a pocket? Uh, we're gonna do like three pockets. Okay, perfect. Let's oh. see the action. Oh, I love it. Let's do it. I mean, now you nicely see the motion as well, huh? Now it speeds up. That's music. I think it's important today to show the people that the metalworking lubricant is not just a, a known product. It can enhance the productivity of a company. Our determination since 1936 is added value. And today, we call this solution that we deliver to the customer a liquid tool. CNC machining, 6AL4B, titanium, at Blazer Swiss Lube to test the coolant and prolong the cuts, making it happen. Joel, oh, my brother from another mother. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, CNC machining. Woo! Woo! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> We have uh, good products, good people, and the energy and the approach of Mark. I'm absolutely uh, convinced we, are, uh, we have a good future. Working together to be more productive is a key element of the success for our company, but also for our customers. people who have seen our drums somewhere but don't really know anything else. My father thought that it would be great to have a hot air balloon to carry the name in a positive way out of the valley. It has become part of our culture. If you compare it to business, in ballooning you have to work with nature. You cannot work against nature. You have to work with the winds. You have to make the best out of what you have. This is my first time outside the United States, and it's been quite the adventure. Switzerland is absolutely epic. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Mark and Agatha, for taking us hot air ballooning. Crazy.